Good morning. Welcome to Miss Valerie Can Help. I saw this lovely bedding set at Walmart. It was online and I ordered it and it came. So I'm going to show you how to make a bed. But first, I'm opening the zipper. This bedding set, I got three cushions. Woohoo! This is so nice. Let me just put it right here. I like to put cushions on my bed because it gives it that buzz, you know. So. Here's the sheet set. It's lavender. I got two pillowcases. This is queen size. Two queen size pillowcases. I got a flat sheet. Come to the cardboard inside. I'm just gonna put this away. And this is my flat sheet. This is the fitted. It's also lavender. So I'm gonna first put the fitted sheet on the bed. So let me put my thing on the floor. Okay, first you open that. that. I do my corners. You look for this and you tuck. You tuck all corners, okay? Nice and smooth, no bumpiness on my bed. Okay, I'm gonna put my fitted sheet. Make sure everything is nicely together. Right. I'm looking normally. You look for this, the edge or the, the tag to see where you put your, your sheet. So you know when you see this, you know it goes at the bottom, not at the head of the bed. All right. Like this, you get the and this down. Okay, I'm gonna bring this. I bend this over right away. more to the front because no one can see over here and then you don't want anybody to see under your bed so you put the taller part of the sheet oh to the front see so if someone walk in your room or they're sitting at the front of your bed they won't see under your bed what is there. Ok, 
Okay. In the winter, I have to put a bed blanket on top of this. If it's the summer, you just leave it like this. Right? And then I'm going to put my pillowcase. All right? So my pillowcases. So I'm doing it for the I'm doing this for the summer. This here. You know summertime it's hot. You don't want to have a big um, blanket on the bed. It's gonna let you get hot. So nice and cruisy. You know, Cruising, you put your pillow and make sure this part of it goes down inside because when I do it, then I do like this. You can tuck it under, shape it shapes like an envelope, like this, and then you just do it like this. Right. In the bottom of your pillowcase so it doesn't reflect on the outside so when you do your monitoring you won't see that all right you just shake it all right yes. and then you do like this Take it in. you get like an envelope shape and then you just do that There, all right, and then I'm gonna put my spread on. But before I do that, it's gonna be a little short, so I'm gonna monitor the corners. All right, so you do like this, hold it up like that, do it like that, bring it like this up there and then you do this because when you put your spread it's gonna just flow right here so you don't want the sheet to be showing like <laughs> okay just for those who can't do it as fast as I have done it earlier you take your time you hold it like this you use your left hand and you bring it under and you hold it see i hold it right and then i'm gonna lift this part of it do it like that and then you're gonna tuck okay you're gonna tuck it on this is called monitoring the hand of the sheet and then you see how it looks like it folds like this and then you're gonna tuck it I don't want the bed skirting to go on as well, so I just keep it like that. And then same for here at the front, you just tuck it under. You don't have to monitor at the head. You just tuck everything here, right under, yeah? I'm gonna go to the other side. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna lift the match. I'm going to lift the mattress and use my right hand this time and bring it, hold, grab it like that and hold it. And the same procedure at the front, you bring it up like that and then you lift again, you bring this part under and then this part that comes down, you lock it under as well and at the top here you just tuck just tuck it see see i'm tucking it so right here is just as it is all right i'm gonna do my bed sp spread or the computer which we all know it has all right, I'm gonna look for the 
the tag to see where it is. So I know exactly where to put my thing. Okay. Found it. I'm going to flip it over. Alright. So you know it goes to the bottom. Always look for your tag. Set the bottom, all right. Okay. I'm gonna take up my pillows. I'm gonna rest them right here because now I'm gonna spread my bed spread. Over. I stay on one side because it's much easier for me. Down like this. Make sure make, when you're doing this, make sure that the the comforter sits below where the bed, where I tuck the bed sheet. All right, here as well. Just move this. You notice, see? All right. I love this color. It's so beautiful. It's pretty. I love it. it the gray here matches. It's a little lighter though, but it matches my curtain. All right. And if you notice, the lavender matches the sheet. I'm going to bring this up. Okay. I'm going to put back my pillowcases right there. And the other one, you do it over again because it tuck it under. like this and then put it there all right I'm gonna put my I got two shams with my bed set. So I'm going to put my extra two pillars in this to put at my bed head. All right. Okay, with my extra two pillars, I just put them in my sham. And I'm going to put one right here. The other right there, okay. and then my cushions. Right. It comes with three different size cushions. All right, I'm gonna put my lavender in the middle. It can go both ways. Either you want to use it this way, or you want to use it this way. All right, so basically, I'm going to put it this way, and then blue. You can either do it that way and put this one like this, or you can do like this, like this one, like that. Whatever way you want to do it, it's up to you. Like it that way, this way, so it gives a complete show of the different colors. So you have the small one, and then this one, and then that one. All right, nice, nice to have you guys 
watching and hope it will benefit someone. Woohoo!